<laughs> what happened to the laughter? It's not there anymore. This is Mark and Charity's Coffee Podcast. And the truth comes out. <laughs> Shots fired. See, it's not fair because I don't have control. <laughs> you have control of all the buttons and the music, as was proven this morning when we heard Psychedelic Furs and Pretty in Pink, which was not a bad choice. But not the song I think of when I think of Pretty in Pink, the movie. I have a uh, pink golf shirt on, yes. which prompted the discussion. Everybody always says, hey, hey, Mark and Charity, how organized is your show? Highly, mm. highly structured. Okay. Very organized, days in advance. There is no wiggle room for any changes whatsoever. I show up in a golf shirt, we change songs. <laughs> hey, let's play Psychedelic first. Pretty sure we organized the entire show the one day on the air. And then after that, forget it. <laughs> Sounds good, but I will wear this for the uh, yeah. VIQ Ladies no, Golf Tournament. No, it is a very pretty pink shirt, and it should be worn, I would think, at the VIQ Golf Course uh, Tournament next Friday. I think it's very, I think it's fitting, and we should base our theme around it. So now okay. we need a theme right. that so, that shirt makes sense in. Could we... See, I've never seen the movie Pretty in Pink, because I wasn't mm. in my John Hughes... Because you did suggest... That be our theme, which would be fine. I don't have any pink though, so we either go with the movie. So I'm Ducky. Not in the I pink never shirt. Get, you I would be Molly Ringwald. Mm. If you're I wearing pink, McCarthy? you need to watch the movie. Well, no, you told me to wear the shirt. So I know. Why you so you're in pink. Me? So why am I Molly Ringwald? Because she's the one in pink. Okay. She's the know. one the movie's about. She's the pretty in pink. Which again, being the only male on the course next week would make. So it would oh, be awesome. So it would be the gender reversal. Yes. Got it. Got it. I'm and I'm going to wear black, which really all the guys wear black. James Ducky, Spader. James Vader, Andrew yeah. McCarthy, they all wear black. Okay. So I could be any one of those. All right. That's what we'll do. I'll and be Molly depending. Ringwald and you can be. Because I was going to wear a hat anyway, so I could really be Ducky. I'm sure I could find a tie somewhere. Okay. Yeah. All right. Good. Because that's so our be relationship, Molly Ringwald. right? Molly Ringwald and Ducky. No. <laughs> no. No. All right. I don't he know. he secretly pines for her. That is not our so relationship. So that's not the same. No. No. Okay. No. I don't know why we're doing they this They don't movie. become friends until the end, thankfully. Oh. Which you don't like. You don't like the ending. You don't Again. like the ending? No, you said you didn't like the ending because he she doesn't end up Ducky with Ducky. Ducky never gets the girl. Originally, in the, he was supposed to. Oh, of course he And then they changed should. the ending. Why? Viewers didn't like it. So they changed the ending. Ducky was supposed to end up with... With Molly Ringwald's, um, I can't even, Andy. Andy. Was supposed to end up with Andy. But and no. yet test audience said, no, no, nope. we don't like it. Andrew McCarthy needs some redemption. So oh, all right. we're going to put her with him. Okay. it's a, That's interesting. You mm -hmm. know, when test audience do that sort of stuff. Yeah. And then Ducky and Andy end up just friends. Oh. Very good friends. Okay. I think that happened to the pretty woman. I think the ending was changed. I think he just leaves. He, I think you're right. I think. Do you and remember the, reading something like that? And the like audiences that? rebelled. The movies that made us. Yeah. They talk about that. The ending was yeah. different. He like, was just going to bail. He was going to leave. And That's it. Because that's who he is. Yeah. And it's like, nope, not this so time. So much better. Yep. It's, I find that interesting when you learn stuff like that about some of your favorite movies or movies that have become such a uh, pop culture phenomenon like they ha and they get such a following. And then you read, well, no, it was actually supposed to happen this way. And this yeah. this actor was supposed to play that person. And it's like, whoa. It blows yeah. your mind sometimes. Would have been completely different. Completely different. And how? Because it was supposed to be really dark, too. Pretty Woman was supposed to be a darker yeah. film. Not as light mm. and lovey-dovey as it turned out to be. That might be, even though I, I can't possibly believe this to be the case. But that might be the first rom-com. Like, there's... They never really called them rom-coms when those movies were coming out, but that was so... Would you call that a rom-com? No, I don't know that it's a comedy. No, that's why I think that might be first, but there are aspects of it mm. that was funny. It had its moments, yeah. but I don't know that I would list Pretty Woman as a rom-com even no? today. Okay. Because it's not... Like, something about Mary. Well, that's not a good example that's either. Not good. That's not a good example. <laughs> it's like, it's a comedy, but not a rom-com. Yeah. Um, Runaway Bride. Okay. Would be a rom-com. All right. So that's... But what, what do you think the first one was? Well, that's a whole other podcast. Let me see. Let me see if it's listed somewhere. And we can okay. see. Because I was busy it. looking at the weather forecast for 10 days from now, which is the day before the ladies' golf tournament with VIQ, and it's got thunderstorms on the Thursday. So the that's day great. before. It'll, yeah, it'll clear up fine. that. It'll be perfect for Friday, July 7th. 
Contact them, ladies, if you'd like to play. We still don't know who we're playing with. But we're going to raise a lot of money. It's going to be hot that day, and it's going to be good. Okay, this is taking it back way too far. The first rom-com, two gentlemen. From like 1938. Shakespeare. They say Shakespeare was the creator of rom-coms. Okay, Okay. clearly have gone back too far. No, that's the wrong website. (laughs) That's not the one I What does Vanity Fair say? Oh, when Harry met Sally. Is the first. Okay, that I can buy. Yes. I can live with that. Yes, and that's a rom-com because it's light all the way through. That's right, and it's funny. Because stuff it's like, funny, yes. You can't say Sleepless in Seattle because that wasn't really funny. We get it. There's a lot of romantic movies, but until they came out and made comedy the vehicle for the romance, yeah, it's relatively new. There weren't always, like, there were some madcap ones that had, like, Cary Grant and stuff like that. But not, but not a rom-com, rom-com. No. That we would call them today. Yeah, Harry Met Sally, they say, is the very first one. Very first and the one. number one rom-com. Very nice Rob Reiner. And, and I think, you know what, that is true. It kind of, it gave us the template, too. Mm-hmm. The, the formula to, to follow. There's a different way to show love stories. Yeah. That can, yeah, good one. That good was a one. good movie. Final week of school this week. And so one of our all-time favorite people, Principal Joanne Berry of Frankfurt Public Schools, hanging it up in a few days. Responsible for Mark's hot dog costume. Mm-hmm. And she invited, well, she has invited both of us at one time or another for their career day as which well. Which is great. Which is, she's wonderful at organizing that. Amazing. So we couldn't let it go by without wishing her well. Hello. Mark it's and Mark Charity. And Charity. Hello. Bye. <laughs> Good morning. How are you? Good. Good. Are you in the office right now? I am exactly in my office that, right now. Perfect. How did we know that that's where you would be? <laughs> I almost called you this morning because I heard you talking about a pink prom dress, and I have a pink prom dress actually at the school here. So I could wear that golfing. Maybe that's yeah, what you because I have my pink golf Might be a shirt. Small. That's what I'm yeah. wearing this morning over top of my hot dog costume. <laughs> That he has not taken off since you gave it to him. That's awesome. I look for him everywhere. I'll be looking for him down on Canada Day. Yes. <laughs> we just could not let the school year come no. to an end without thanking you for everything you've done throughout your career and wishing you the greatest of retirements. A very happy retirement to you. Thank you so much. I'm uh, pretty excited. It's uh, bittersweet, though. It's hard to say goodbye. Absolutely. When is your final day? Well, technically it's Friday, but last day of school is Thursday, so it'll be saying goodbye, doing the clap out. And so you guys do a clap out on the very last day of school? For everybody? Yes. Or just yeah. the grade eight? We, we, we do a clap out for the grade eights on their um, on their final day, you know, when they when they do their celebration. But uh, yeah, we do a clap out for any staff who are leaving as well. So. Okay. Now I any know kids are moving on. I know it's hard to narrow it down, but can you share with us some of the highlights over the years, Principal Barry, from your time as an educator and as a principal? Well, I, I mean, I keep a book. It's called my funny book, and I write down everything that's funny. And if I get funny emails, I keep them and I put them inside that. So I've been going through that a lot, and a lot of it is just funny moments you have with kids or staff where you just the unexpected kind of funny moments where, uh, where staff are... Uh, you know, doing something you didn't expect or you get surprised. Yesterday I got called to a bus. They really surprised me because I thought, i got to go meet a bus because apparently somebody's misbehaving. We were all making predictions of who it was. And <laughs> the, the bus driver told me to get on the bus, and I was like, the whole bus? And I was like, oh, no, it's, I haven't had to do one of these where you got to get up and tell the whole bus they were misbehaving. And I look, and a couple of kids were giggling, and I'm like, oh, it's not funny when I get called onto the bus. <laughs> and then they all go, happy retirement. Oh, and I was very surprised. Oh, oh. So, what's the earliest entry in the book? How long have you been keeping it? Oh, I've been keeping it since I was a vice principal. So, yeah, so 2005 was the first year, and I, I keep track of everything. Every once in a while, I, I cross paths with somebody in that funny book, and I remember their story, and I kind of send them a story or Share them, share with them. Oh, remember the time your daughter did this. And so. <laughs> what What Thank do you. you have planned next week? Uh, well, my daughter's home from Ireland, so I'm going to be spending some more time with her before she heads back to school. And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to being actually there on the first day of school, so I won't be here. Oh, so. wow! Mm-hmm. Happy retirement, Principal yes. Barry. Yes. Thank you so much. It was it was great connecting with you this year with the, the hot dog costume and everything, and and the students at Frankfurt uh, Public School. I'm sure. We'll miss you next year, but all the best and have a wonderful retirement. Thank you, and I'll watch for the hot dog costume. Thank you. 
12 of the great eights everywhere that got clapped out this week and any other teachers that are retiring or moving out of our area high and school graduates else, whatever's going on amazing it is a monumental week and i love it it's very exciting i love this week end of school I, I i'll be 100 years old if i'm still around the last week of june going this is just the best week <laughs> It's a, bit, it's a life week. It's I would a life say changing week. It's either equal to or very close to the first week of school as well. True. Yeah. Because that's very exciting too. Yeah. For them to, Beginnings for parents, teachers, kids. Yep. yep. Brand new, fresh start. Yep. And away you go. The excitement. And kids are generally excited mm-hmm. to get back to. But yeah, we're celebrating the, the beginning of summer now. And when you get back to school, kids, if I don't think about it, you heard Principal Barry. Don't be the student that she expects to be the one <laughs> that really cr- goofing around on the well. bus. <laughs> oh, we're all that. taking bets on who it is. Who it is? Oh, oh no! <laughs> they know. They talk about you. Don't be that. You kid. think you're pulling the wool over their yeah, eyes? They no. know exactly. <laughs> don't be fooled. You're don't, not fooling them. Don't be that kid. They then know. today we got talking about the uh, ten most popular places in Canada where all Canadians should go and should see. And and I thought, oh no, I don't know how many of these I'm gonna I'm you gonna had, see. But wasn't bad. A couple checked because out there. some of the most obvious ones are not on the yes. list. So it makes me wonder. So things like. Uh, uh, the CN Tower. It's number nine. Is number nine. Mm-hmm. That that was there. Uh, number ten. I'd also been to. What was number ten? I number ten was that. Quebec City. Quebec City. Yes. yes. I skied Mount Saint Anne and had a quick tour of old Quebec City, and that was in January. So it was cold. It was dark at night. Restaurant was wonderful. So I haven't spent a lot cozy. of time there, but I was there, mm-hmm. and it was. Beautiful. Yes. It's, like so it's, on, my, it's on my list of places I'd like to go. Yeah, and I would like to go to Plains of Abraham, which are outside, which they use for concerts and stuff. But it was like, like, oh, it's just beautiful. I just, I love the thought of that. So that's good. But then places like Tobermory aren't there, or Niagara Falls. But Muskoka not on the list. is. Yeah, Muskoka, Muskoka is on there. Um, Churchill, Manitoba, which we learned because we were both like mm, mm, polar like bears. But that's where the bear. polar bears, in their natural habitat. Tash. Right. In their <laughs> Wander <grounds>. around. <laughs> Enter the town. Bay of Fundy. Bay of Fundy is one of my honestly favorite places ever. So this I is a place love going to the, the Bay of Fundy. Tide goes out. You can walk on the ocean floor. You go to the Hopewell Rocks yeah. along the Bay of Fundy. And when the tide goes out, you can walk on the floor and then it comes back in and you can kayak. And it's spectacular. And it's just beautiful. The National Park, the Bay of Fundy Park. Gorgeous and the best place to go whale watching. Is that also? It's right at the it's Iceberg Alley, or no? No, no, okay. no. That would be further out. So the Bay of Fundy is around Nova Scotia and along the coast of New Brunswick. Okay, so you're coming into the St. Lawrence. Got it. It's just it is one of my I love it. Cavendish, Cavendish Beach also one of my favorite places in Prince okay. Edward Island. Right. The Red Sand, uh, Tofino, British Columbia mentioned. Grossmore National Park have never been there but want to go because it's spectacular. Newfoundland, uh, Cluin National Park, which I was unaware of, but it is. Is known for um, its glaciers, lush valleys, and untamed territory okay. in Yukon. And number one, Banff and Lake Louise, of right. course. Gotta Spectacular. Go. But as you mentioned, yeah, more more interesting interestingly about what's more interesting about this is what's not on there. And you said Niagara Falls, uh, the nation's capital, Ottawa, Ottawa. Yeah, nothing there. Not mentioned. And we put Algonquin it, Park. Not mentioned. not mentioned. One of your favorite spots. Yeah, I love you it. Love the park. Chatham. Edmonton no. Mall. <laughs> Chatham, not Chatham. Chatham is not Corn on Mall, there. Weird. Not there. Nope. <laughs> no. Um, Edmonton Mall was mentioned by Curtis. He said that should be included. The gardens in Victoria. Capit Trail. Yeah. And Peggy's Cove, also East Coast. Jasper and Kelowna, again in BC. Not mm-hmm. mentioned. Yeah. So. Even the prairies, even along the prairies, I think people should Just to I, say you saw it. Yeah, yeah. Like you hear a, about how vast it is. Like you can drive and drive and drive and see nothing. Well, you can like, see what you, you can, can see. see. Yeah, for miles and miles and miles and miles. Like you can see forever in front yeah. of you, and it doesn't feel like you're moving. <laughs> And I just things. think that's so crazy. I think that's true about Edmonton. Somebody told me, like, if you drive north from Calgary and you drive up to Edmonton and you drive like a dusk or a dark, you can see Edmonton for two hours before you get there. Yeah. The lights of Edmonton 
for two hours because it's the only thing that's lit up. You just see that glow in the sky forever. A so. friend of ours, her husband's from Saskatchewan, and then they lived out there for a while, but they moved back to Ontario, and it was his first time coming to Ontario. He was shocked at how many people <laughs> were in Ontario, like how crowded it yeah, was. Yeah, there's a lot of people here. Yeah, because yeah. he says Sask- Saskatchewan, I almost said Saskatoon, Saskatchewan, there's like nobody. <laughs> like you can, Everybody you can go for property. days yeah. without seeing people. <laughs> And yet, you 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 run into everybody yeah. all the time here in Ontario. It's it's crazy, well, but a joke, lot of beautiful places here to see. No, joke no go down the prayers as you can go to the third floor of the hotel and watch a dog run away for three days. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. And to me, that's something to experience because you can't you can't have that here in Ontario. My parents just got back from BC too, and we we know people who have moved out there, and and um, I always hear such wonderful things. I do want to go to BC at some point, like the yeah, West Coast. I've good. never been. Yep. It's it sounds I have a spectacular. A lot of travels that I want to do. I want to the, the Canadian ones. I want to go out west. I want to go out east. Yep. Uh, United States have never been to California, and I want to do the Pacific Coast Highway Drive. Yes, I want to take Pacific about Coast is a week. something I want to do. Kath and I are going to get in a groovy car. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Maybe we'll get in a Mustang or and something kind of cool. We're going to start up around like San Francisco and drive south so that the ocean is on our right Mm -hmm. because she's a photographer so she can hang out the window and take pictures the whole time. Don't want to be driving north and then you have traffic on the other side of the road. Um, Stuff like that. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Yep. Take all of that. But here in Canada? Anywhere? Well, no. Out west, not east. You know, everything in the middle. Okay. Not so much. (laughs) Whatever. Just filler? Yeah, I think to me, just I don't know. so I've, different. I've had family move to the Northwest Territories yeah. and Yukon, and there is, uh, hearing their stories, seeing their pictures, I wouldn't want to live there like they do, but it would be interesting to yeah. see that part of the Friends country. Friends of mine are going too. up at the beginning of September. They've got family in Yukon. They're going back. They're going to see them again. It's not like you're only allowed to go once. <laughs> what a shock. No, I mean, this but is... But it takes a lot of travel to get there. Yeah, it's expensive, <laughs> and it's a long way up. But yeah. it's so worth it. They said, yeah. that's great. Perfect. Because so, think yeah, about this country. Them. My kids asked me, what was bigger, Canada or the U.S.? Yeah. I said, well, Canada's By a lot. Bigger. Mm-hmm. Um, but population-wise, but there's so much of our country that's unpopulated. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. That I, hasn't been touched. I don't know what the number is, so I'm going to make it up. But it'll be close to this. 70% of our population lives within 100 miles of the American border. Yes, I've Think heard that too, that, that stat. Yeah. yeah. So, because all of Ontario basically is until you get like maybe around. Well, we were joking about. Kenora or something. How long it took from. Because you said about Edmonton being the midway point for a family coming from Ontario and the Yukon, or right. Yukon, and how it took them like two and a half. The distance it took them to travel from. Yukon to Edmonton would basically mm-hmm. be what you travel across Ontario. That's right. Like it takes us a couple of days to get out of the province if you're heading west. I think it's 20 hours or 22 yeah. hours to get out of Ontario. Yeah. Then you're through Manitoba in five. <laughs> well, Thank God. <laughs> <laughs> Unless you go to bears. Churchill. If you go up to Churchill, it might take you a little yeah, longer. Yeah, then what, another four hours through Saskatchewan. So yeah, it could be like yeah. a 30-hour drive to Calgary, 20 of it's in Ontario. Exactly. And then bang, bang, and there you are. Mm-hmm. But most of Ontario, as you just said, the most of Canada, we're south. Like we border we're all bordering the United the US States. and Quebec, like the southern part of Quebec. So, yep. yeah, yep. we're all so. kind of shoulder to shoulder down So here. coming up tomorrow or later on this week, what have you got? The bucket list of Canadians. Oh, We've my gosh. We've got the bucket list for Canadians. What, what Canadian things we should all do. We should all do. Mm-hmm. It's the food we've eaten, the places we want to go. Now what we're going to do is we get ready for Canada Day coming up on Saturday. Like sleep in a tent. Oh, absolutely. I bet, how many of these things have I done? I wonder. I can't um, wait to hear it. I'll send this to you. You can mark it off. Okay. Said sorry for no reason. Absolutely. I've done it <laughs> twice this morning. No, that's not true. I knew why. <laughs> I wonder if this is more a list for people traveling to Canada than what, because I'm looking at this, I'm like, mm, okay, some of these I've never seen. A green jay. Seen a green jay. Have never. you ever heard of a green, green jay? jay? Green a green jay. jay. Green jay, no. Um, been on a mountain and beach in the same day. No. So we could. So this does apply to Canadians as well. Tasted real maple syrup. I can't imagine not tasting real maple syrup. Who hasn't? Exactly. Been hissed at by a goose. (laughs) Yep. Been nipped at by a swan. (laughs) Yep. Been up the CN Tower. Been north of 60. I don't yeah. Think, have have you? Oh sure, Highway sixty. Oh yeah, that's the, that's the highway into Algonquin. So if you've gone near North oh, Bay, you're okay. north of sixty. 
Oh, okay, gosh. Okay, yeah. yes, that for highway. Sure. For All sure. right. Seen a bear. Yep. Yep. Uh, visited three capital cities. I don't think I've done that. Ooh, like provincial capitals, right? Yes, I have. So Toronto, and I've been to Ottawa, and I've been to Quebec City. So there's three. There's three. It just says three capitals. So seen a whale. Seen a whale? No. I have. Well, not in Canada. I have in, in the Caribbean. I think you got to do it in Canada. You saw okay. them in the Caribbean? I what kind of whales Caribbean? are in the Caribbean? I don't know, but it was enormous, and it was following us, and it was diving <gasps> out of the water. That's so yeah. cool. Isn't it that was amazing? enormous, yeah. But it's amazing. Yeah, and it might have been a mile away, half a mile away, but you could see it, and it was like, look at that. That was incredible. Felt minus 35 Celsius temperatures. Pretty darn close with the Ding. wind chill. <laughs> Pretty darn close. Yeah. So, yeah, there we'll get into more okay. of those as the week there's goes more? on. But That's yeah. an impressive list. Yeah, there's actually quite <laughs> there's some interesting ones on here. So, yeah. so our Canadiana continues as well when we get to a Galaxy of Games tomorrow. We've got a high-low game. Mm-hmm. Speaking of maple syrup, yes. nudge, nudge, wink, wink. We'll tell you more about that and then get into our throwback that's going to uh, throw the spotlight on back on the end of school. Not end back of to school. school. Back to school. The wrap-up to the school year. End of school. So that's uh, coming up tomorrow. Enjoy your day today. Maybe smoky again tomorrow. So for all the details, wake up with Mark and Charity Mornings here on 95.5. Hits FM.